Hi there, this is Talia the Dietitian. Today I'm going to introduce you to a new vegetable, or maybe it's not new to you, maybe you've seen it at the supermarket before, maybe you've eaten it before. I'm gonna show you an easy way to prepare it. Uh, my goal with this line of videos is to um, introduce new vegetables and fruits to you or maybe reintroduce them with uh, easier ways to prepare them. So today I have a spaghetti squash. You may have seen these at your supermarket, you, maybe you haven't, maybe you've tried one, maybe you haven't. Um, so this is what it looks like and I have a, a bit of a funny story, personal story with spaghetti squashes. Um, when I grew up in Australia, I had never eaten, seen or tried one of these before. I don't know what the situation is like there now, how available they are, um, but it wasn't until I was probably about 20 when I uh, came to the US that uh, my husband, well, my now husband, he really likes them um, and he bought them and I tried it for the first time and I have to say I didn't really care for the texture of it. Um, but uh, I continued to live with my husband and uh, he continued to buy them and asked me to buy them and I would prepare them or he would prepare them so they were constantly available and being offered to me to eat um, and I did keep trying them and over time I have come to quite enjoy them. So that's kind of what we want um, with our children is the food to be available, repeated exposures, they will try it again and again, it takes time, um, but often they will learn to like the taste and the texture over time. So that's my little story with trying things again and again until you like them. So today I wanna to show you a very easy way how to prepare them. It really is quite quick and easy. All you really need is a, a fork and um, a spaghetti squash and a plate. So the first thing that I, I have done is I've washed the spaghetti squash because you never know who's touched it or if it's fallen on the floor or you don't know what has happened to it. So I always give it a good scrub with some under running water. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take just a plain fork and I'm gonna prick it all over fairly deep and the reason we do this is so that when we're cooking it in the microwave the steam has a place to escape funny story um, I gave one of these to a friend of mine and um, she put hers in the microwave but didn't prick it enough and she sent me a photo of it exploded in the microwave so that's what happens if you don't prick it enough um, or deep enough because we need for the steam to escape okay A good little work out here. So you can see it's pricked all the way around. In fact, there's a bit of a space there that's not pricked. Um, I like to do you know two to three pricks pretty close together all the way around. And then all you need is a plate that you can pop in the microwave and that's where we're gonna go now. So I'm over at my microwave and all I'm gonna do is put it in and I'm gonna set a timer, I should say, for a spaghetti squash about this size, I will put it in for four minutes on high. If you have a bigger one, try five minutes on high to start with. If for a smaller one, probably three to four minutes, but this is a pretty medium to small size. So I'm gonna go with four minutes on, with this one to start with. So I'm just gonna put it in and that's four minutes and we'll come back and check it when the timer goes off. So my four minute time has just gone off. Now I'm gonna come over and have a look inside. Be careful, because it's gonna be hot. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over. This is the part that was just face down. And I'm just gonna press gently on it. And I can feel that it, I can, it depresses a little bit. It's not hard like a rock anymore, which means that that side is getting cooked. So now I'm gonna leave this side up and I'm gonna put it back in. Careful, because it rolls. I'm gonna just hold it while I put it back in. And I'm gonna put it in for another four minutes on, on its opposite side, and then I'm gonna come back and check it. So I've just taken the spaghetti squash out of the microwave. I had to put it in for an extra minute because it was still a little bit hard. So it was four minutes, flip, four minutes, one minute. And I've got these gloves on, they're heat proof gloves, um, because this is very hot. So to make sure that it's cooked, just press on it um, with the gloves preferably. And it, you should feel that it's soft, and not, I mean, it's not gonna be super soft, but it's not gonna be hard like a rock. The one part that is quite hard is this part that you can see here that has the scarring on it on the bottom, which is normal. Um, so I'm gonna just leave that on the bottom for now. Um, and so the way I like to cut this, I, make sure you have a sharp knife on hand. I do mine diagonally um, because 
this is very hard and you can't cut right through it. So it kind of just works a little bit easier to cut it diagonally and I'll show you what that looks like. So just be very careful with your sharp knife and just cut it. It should be very easy to cut into. I don't like to, I don't like to let my knife touch the, the, uh, the plate because that can dull the knife. So I'm just being careful to get close but not actually touch the plate. So there we take it out. So you can see that I've cut it diagonally here so that I don't have to deal with this knobby bit. So it's cut just like, like that. And then when I open it up, um, it's got a little membrane in there and also some seeds that I'm gonna have to scrape out. So the next part of what I'm gonna do, um, I have a little rubbish bin in here, so I'm not just throwing the seeds on the floor. I'm gonna take one glove off. I'm gonna hold the uh, spaghetti squash with my glove and um, with, oh, yeah, with a fork, I'm just gonna gently scrape the seeds as best as I can out. And it just takes a few seconds. And you can see this dark yellowy membrane-y bit. Just get as much of that out as possible. So I'm gonna just move over here to my rubbish and just throw those out. Okay, so that's what it looks like now, hollowed out. Um, and you can see it's, it's quite hot. But what you can see is that when you flake it off like this, um, it's sort of fun and stringy like spaghetti. Um, and the best way to scoop the, the inside part out, um, at least I found, is to actually use a spoon for this. And so you can scrape all the way up to the very edges here. And the way I just, just scrape it off and now you can see because it's so soft it just comes off really easily and the way you do it is just scoop it out like that and I would just put that directly on on a plate I like to put a little bit of black pepper over it um, but you can eat it plain or you can put a sauce over it um, it's really up to you and experiment with it because each way you serve it differently um, with a different sauce is a great food exposure and it adds a different flavor a different texture which is really great for your kids before we wrap up, I did want to just tell you a little bit of the nutritional information about a spaghetti squash. Because it's a vegetable, all plant products have fiber in them, so we would expect a spaghetti squash to also have fiber, which it does. Uh, it's also got vitamin C, a small amount of iron, and vitamin B6. It's got a plethora of other vitamins as well and minerals, um, but those are the ones of note that are the highest levels. Um, and like I said, good source of fiber. So this is kind of a, this is a great fun, um, vegetable to serve to kids because of its stringy and um, sort of crunchy texture. I'm actually going to take a bite and just sort of ex see if I can explain the taste of it to you. So it's quite crunchy, which is nice because I don't think, let me chew this. I don't think that a lot of children like things that are very, very mushy when it comes to vegetables. So what's really nice about this is that it does have a crunch and you can play a game with your kids. Like who can crunch theirs the loudest? Or can I hear you crunching? Or can you hear mine crunching? Um, it's a very um, delicate flavor. It's not very strong. Um, I like to put a little bit of ketchup or tomato sauce as an Australian would say um, on mine but I think it's also really great with just a little bit of pepper. We have served ours with some spaghetti sauce that you would put over pasta and it's nice that way too but I would encourage you to try it in many different ways. Um, another thing that's quite popular at the moment is um, actually baking things into it and put it back in the oven and with some cheese and some things inside it and cook it so that it's baked. That's a great other way to try it. So I really hope you found this video helpful and informative and if you have please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on your notifications and if you have um, a, a request for a vegetable or fruit that you don't know how to cook or you don't know what to do with it um, drop me a comment below and I will see if I can find it and do a tutorial on that for you. So thanks so much for watching. Bye bye. This is Talia. I am passionate about helping parents feed their children better food with less stress. Here are some more videos for you.